Tony D and Little Joan with your screenwriter's rant on Absolution, starring Liam Neeson as an old gangster who's uh, coming to terms with his own death and trying to redeem him, redeem himself in one last, uh, I don't know, play. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 15. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Um, Liam Neeson is getting up there. He doesn't look that bad, but he's kind of old. So playing a tough guy, I don't know if it really works for him in this movie. It, it, it's kind of like, eh, he's beating the hell out of dudes. <laughs> uh, Ron Perlman, too. Ron Perlman uh, looks older. I think he's actually a little younger than Liam Neeson, but he looks older. Um, however, that all being said, eh, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I like these kinds of movies, so I, I don't mind it. I'm going to go with the IMDB and see what's cracking there. See if we can find the ages here. Absolution. There it is. Um, an aging gangster attempts to reconnect with his children and rectify the mistakes of his past, but the criminal underworld won't loosen their grip willingly. So Liam Neeson was born in 52. So what's that make him? Uh, 72. 72. Ron Perlman... Born in 1950. Oh, he is actually older. So he's 74. Jeez. 74. Yeah, these guys are a little old to be doing this. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I don't... Usually, like, gangsters in their 70s, uh, they're either the ones in charge. And they're not doing the muscle work anymore. Or they're in jail or they're dead. I mean... Uh, so, I don't know, man. Guy in his 70s. Just seems too old. Seems like a guy at that age would finally go, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't keep robbing people and killing people. It seems like a bad idea. <laughs> um, but that being said, it doesn't look that bad. Um, it looks kind of okay. I like these kinds of movies, so I'm kind of biased towards it. Just a little sick of seeing Liam Neeson in the same role over and over again. So first act, I know I kind of gave it away with the synopsis, but it's pretty straightforward. First act, uh, usually the character gets out of prison, but in this case, he's just getting a bad doctor's diagnosis that he's going to die. Because he's taking too many punches to the head. Okay. So uh, the doctor asks him, well, do you have any family? Like, well, uh, that's, a, that's a sore subject, Doc. And so he goes to visit his family. And uh, he's estranged from them. He's, I don't know if he tells them he's dying. Maybe he just sees them. He's really got nothing going on there. He's got a grandson that he doesn't know. That uh, he talks to and tells him, ah, don't don't become like me, kid. Starts thinking about his life. And then he's on a job and, I don't know, some woman interrupts it and she's in trouble. And, uh, I don't know, he helps her. And then, of course, turns out everybody in the mafia or mob or whatever want her dead for some reason. And he's going to protect her. So he ends up throwing away, you know, all his connections, all his money to redeem himself in one last sort of violent outburst, let's say. Um, the one cool thing in this is there's a scene where he's, uh, he's taking cover in his car and he sees a guy in a rearview mirror. And rather than uh, try to shoot him, he, he backs over him. Like he pushes his hand down on the gas pedal. So that tells me that at least the um, screenwriter is thinking about the, the, the 
the action and sort of a visual sense. And he's showing us rather than telling. So I like that little sequence at the end of the trailer there. That, to me, indicates it's a solid screenplay, at least. So, and then at the end, probably he dies. That's like the good way to end one of these movies. He dies saving this girl just to, you know, have a moment of redemption, and then that's it. Um, director Hans Petter Moland and writer Tony Gayton. Okay. So, eh, I would watch it on streaming, maybe. Seems okay. Seems like your standard ex, uh, gangster flick, but it might be elevated by the screenplay, I would suggest. Uh, Ron Perlman's still pretty good at playing scumbags. He's in charge, so his status in the in the screenplay is a, it makes a little more sense. Liam Neeson has to play kind of a slightly younger guy, at least, that still has the ability to beat the hell out of dudes, even though he's in his 70s. Here he doesn't really look. I mean, he could kind of pass for late 50s, you know, which wouldn't be too bad. You could still see the guy having enough muscle. But there's a couple of shots, and you could see him in the trailer where he looks... He doesn't look frail, but he looks very gangly, you know? And uh, it's sort of got that old man, sort of everything's hanging off your skeleton kind of look to it. And um, he need they needed more, they needed to keep those shots out of the movie. Like this shot, yeah, he, he looks mean. He looks badass in this shot. Uh, gotta, gotta do a lot of shots like that in a movie like this. Keep Liam Neeson, and they got him in a leather jacket, and they, they got him mostly covered up. Um, about the only other thing, maybe you could have given him some sort of prosthetic to make his upper body look a little bigger, just a little bigger, you know, just give him a little bit of more shoulders. Maybe you do it in CGI, but, um, I don't know, maybe they're padding him out a little bit using the, uh, costuming. Um, they also have him hooking up with the chick. So I don't know if that's really going to work at his age. Um, it's almost unnecessary, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I would check it out. It seems like a good, good one to stream. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D and little Joan, uh, check us out on the green site, the orange site and the black site for more of our videos. Cause I, I can't post the other ones here. I will be at the Marcus Hook Pirate Festival in the park there on Saturday. Uh, it starts around 10 and then on Sunday, I'll be at Pine Barrens, Pine Barrens Makers Fest, and that's in Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, the links are below. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.